So testing your emails is obviously something um, which you should be doing as standard. Um, and one of HubSpot's uh, most powerful tools um, is the AB, AB testing tool, um, which is part of the email marketing section in HubSpot. Um, so with an AB test, um, the whole the whole reason um, you know you would run one of these is to to test out what what is working well you know with your email marketing strategy. Um, so you can test out different um, areas such as your subject lines, um, sender names, um, CTA positioning. Um, loads of different areas you can test, um, and ultimately, what what happens is is when you send your email, um, your list would be split in half, um, and the the two variants of the email would be tested against the list. So you would send one subject line, for example, to one uh, variant. Um, and the A variant, so that's one half of your list, and then one subject line to the B variant, which is the other half of your list. Um, and then once the email's been sent to everyone, there will be a, a, a winning variant, um, and that will ultimately allow you to establish, uh, you know, what's working um, with your emails. Um, and then once you once you know, um, how, you know what type of subject lines are working, or or which sender. Um, is getting better open rates or which style of CTA is getting getting better click through rates you can then begin to to use that um, you know as part of your strategy moving forward um, so I thought I'd just do a quick video to show you how easy it is to run an AB test on your emails within HubSpot um, so I've just created a, a test email um, it's nothing fancy um, but you know the whole point is really um, to just show you how how easy it is to to run an A/B test. Um, so let's say you've crafted your email, you're happy with how it looks. Um, I've I've been through all the settings, so um, you know I've given it a subject line. Um, I've I've given the subscription type, uh, the preview text. I've, I've decided on the sender. Um, now we would run, run a test. So in the top left hand side of the screen, it's here, just you just simply need to click on run a test um, and then give, give them some naming conventions. Um, so that one's will test variant A. And let's just call that one will test variant B. Um, and then we wanna choose a, a winning metric for the test. Um, so that might be your open rate, click through rate. For this, I'm going to test out two subject lines. So obviously, the winning metric would be the open rate. Um, you can choose the, the duration of how long the test is run for. Um, that's completely up to you. Um, you just drag the bar. I'm going to put 10 hours for this one. And once you're happy with, um, with Sorry, then there's this bit as well, which would help you even out the distribution. Um, so I'm gonna put 50-50 on this, so that'll split the list 50-50. Um, click Create Test. So we're still in variant A at the moment. So like I say, I'm happy with everything I've done on, on this email. I've chose the sender. Um, subject line. So I'm just going to go into variant B and um, something which is important to, to consider when running AB tests is as a best practice, you should only really um, test out one variant of your email. So if you're going to test out the from name, only test that. Don't don't start playing around with, with two areas of your, of your email, if you know what I mean. Only send, only test that from name don't test your subject line and your from name just the one um but um so for, for this example i'm just going to um test out the subject line um time to find out how So yeah, I'm going to keep everything else the same. And as part of this test, we would just um, be testing out those two subject lines. So the email would be sent um, to your list in HubSpot. 
um, which would be found here. Apologies for the slow internet. The joys of working from home. Um, so then you choose your list um, and you would literally just send out the email and it would be automatically split between the two lists. You'd then let the email be sent out. Um, you'd obviously keep an eye on how it's performing. And then at the end, either variant A or variant B would be the winner. Um, and from there, you can make better decisions on, on, on your emails. Um, if, if variant B has a better open rate, you know that that tone works within your subject line or if variant A performs better, you know that that tone works and it's something that you can embed into your email marketing strategy as you uh, move forward. Like I say, um, you could test out um, your CTAs. So you may want to use um, text links or you may want to try out buttons. If buttons work better for your click-through rate, then you would probably be more inclined to use buttons um, in your emails moving forward. Let's say if we sent out the email from one from, from Digital22 and then from Ricky at Digital22. So we sent it from a person or Will at Digital22 and the um, you know the per the name the person um, e variant would perform better. We know that sending our emails from a person as opposed to the company works better. So yeah, there's loads of um, different things you can try out um, with with the A/B testing tool. Uh, it's it's a really handy tool. Something that we always try and use as much as we can. So I'm sending emails here at Digital Twenty Two, um, and yeah, I hope I hope this this email um, sorry this video. Um, is useful um, and if you have any questions about you you know running a b tests or the, the the best practices i'd love to have a chat um cheers